Welcome back graduates. All right, so today I'm gonna show you how to anchor link to a certain section on a different page. So a while back I showed you how you can uh, anchor link to a certain section on the same page, uh, but today I'm gonna show you on a different page. Uh, so before what that looked like was I'm on the home page and I'm gonna scroll uh, right over here. You can change this call to action. This is for demo purposes. Uh, so at the very bottom, there's, this, there's a section called uh, the promo section and so what I want is for that call to action at the very top of the hero banner to scroll and anchor link to the section at the bottom of the home page so I gave you a video before uh, to show you how to do that so uh, <clears throat> what that looks like is I'm gonna click on this call to action and it's gonna snap to the same place on the home page in this section. now what I'm gonna show you is I'm I'm gonna show you that you can now link You've been able to do this before, but just showing you that you can anchor link to a different section on a different page. And uh, so what I have right now is I'm going to have a contact page and this right here, I sign it. I did not sign it yet. So I'm going to go into my navigation right over here into my main menu and under the drop down, I'm going to choose the pages and about. I'm going to save. And once that uh, gives it a little time, Shopify to update, uh, this should change to the About Us. So this is now the content. Uh, it's drawing in the content, another section here, and another content section. Uh, so let's say, for example, I want that new call to action or a different call to action to go to the Image with Text section on strictly the About Us or the contact form. So what that looks like is the same logic as before. You're going to go and grab the Shopify template ID here. So let's just do that and inspect. And I want to grab this section right here. So it's not the actual like link, but right over here, it's, this, it's the ID. So I'm gonna take this, but I'm just gonna put it in my, uh, in my handy dandy notepad. And so what I want is notice how this is going to be your domain or your my Shopify URL and then pages uh, slash about what I'm going to do is take this exact same URL. I'm going to put it in my in my notes, and then whatever that Shopify right here, this ID, um, or I'm sorry, this ID right here. I'm just going to do a pound sign and right after the about us. So what that will look like is like this. So I am going to show you what that looks like. It's the same exact pages, but then I'm calling in for that pound sign for that section. Uh, for that ID. So now that I have that URL, I'm going to go back into my theme editor right over here. I'm going to click custom. And let's say, for example, I want um, this, it doesn't need to be, but uh, this view all to go to that about, um, or we can do it for the up. Uh, so we can have a link uh, scrolling down here, learn more. So this learn more is going to go to that about us and that content form. So I'm just going to paste that into here and I'm going to click. So now this section on the home page, when I click on this, should go to that about us on the contact form. I'll give Shopify a little bit up. So scrolling here, this goes to the snaps to the promo grid, which is great. Refresh this a little bit. And then I'm going to scroll all the way down to the parallel with image. And now this should snap uh, pretty much to the contact form on the About Us page. And it does. So notice how it just snaps right into that contact form, and that is what we're looking for. So again, what you're gonna wanna do is I'll go into any place that you want, any section that you want. So view all, let's say, or FAQ. I don't have an FAQ here, but if I go to the About Us page and I just want that certain section to be snapped, I'm gonna take on the live store, on the live, preview of it this exact url and then i'm going to do a pound sign and whatever shopify section from another from another page or or this page even and i'm going to grab again the id and i'm going to inspect element and the id for that section would be right here so i would take this and it would just look like this that long string and then you're just going to copy and paste that long url string to wherever you want it to go to um, and that, in a nutshell, is how you can anchor another section from another page to uh, from another page.